Hi there, I'm Melo from runningexpert.com and I'm here with my great colleague, Max. And today we're gonna celebrate some of the best trail shoes of 2022. It's time for the Running Expert Trail Shoe Award Show. So, we're gonna celebrate three categories. We're gonna find a first, a second, and a third place in each category. And the three categories is the um, best fast trail running shoe, the best technical trail running shoe, and then the best ultra running shoe. Yep. So, should we just get started? Yeah, let's get going. So, here we have them, the three best fast trail running shoes of 2022. And let's, let's just start out with the first place. This one, the Salomon Pulsar SG. Max, what can you tell me about this shoe? Yeah, well, first of all, you can almost feel it, right? It's very lightweight. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the um, awesome features about this shoe. Uh, besides that, I would say this, this outsole is actually pretty good. The locks aren't that big, but uh, they're big enough mm -hmm. to have a, a, a good grip for fast trail. Yeah. And uh, then you have this midsole, which is very, very comfortable. Yeah, it feels and so soft. This is just, you have a very light shoe, which is still this comfortable. It's, uh, it's not very common no. in trail shoes. So, um, so why is this the first place? Well, I would say it's, it's because of the weight, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just, it, it, it feels like a racing flat, as you know it, from, mm. from the road, right? Yes. Um, yeah, it's so, awesome. Awesome. And then the second place is this one. I consider buying these shoes for yeah, myself and sure. for my trail running. The Hoka Tecton X. Why is this the second place? Yeah. Well, it, it actually it could be uh, it can be very hard to place this shoe in which cat category you want to place it in. Okay. Obviously, it's not a muddy uh, for for muddy conditions. No. But. Otherwise, than very muddy conditions, it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. uh, we put it in the fast category because you can run very fast in these shoes. Yeah. But actually, I'm planning to run an ultra trail in these shoes as All well. Right. So, uh, yeah, well, short ultra, yeah. 53K. So. <laughs> but kind of a versatile uh, shoe. Very versatile, shoe. yeah. yeah. And uh, one, of, one of the good things about this shoe is it's, um, I would say it's even more comfortable than this one. Okay. And you're, uh, you have a carbon plate in it, so you're, uh, besides the snappy feeling and all that yeah. from, a, from a, a carbon plate, you also have some protection yeah. from rocks, stuff like that, ah. which you do not have in that No, one. no. Uh, so so uh, that's awesome about this shoe. And also you have the, uh, the upper here, which is very stable, but still there's uh, a lot of room for your feet. Yeah. And that is why I'm choosing it for the, uh, the Ultra. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a lot of room for my, my yeah. feet, so I don't get... The platform also looks quite wide. Yeah, yeah. And, and this outsole is just uh, from, yeah, it's from uh, Vibram. Yeah. Vibram Mega Grip. Yes. And it's, it's very grippy. Yes. Yeah, it's very nice. Nice. And then to a uh, shoe brand, which had a very great year also in the uh, non-trail award show. Mm -hmm. Saucony. This is the Saucony uh, Endorphin Edge. Yeah. I really think this is a, a beautiful running shoe. Can you tell me something about the shoe and why this is on the third place? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, uh, this shoe, as well as the other one here, Tecton X, are uh, both very lightweight still. Yeah. Not as lightweight as this one, but no. still very lightweight shoes. Uh, and that's pretty crazy that you have an, a, a lightweight shoe which has this much yeah. uh, midsole in it, right? Yeah. And um, besides, um, even, though, even though you have a lot of midsole in this shoe, it's, it still performs uh, very good in kind of technical terrain yeah. as well, actually. Uh, so so uh, that surprised me a bit because that was yeah. something I was worried about. But uh, yeah, you can uh, run practically everything in this. Obviously not very muddy conditions, no. but still uh, everything else, I would say, uh, performs especially well on dry surfaces, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Beautiful. So to sum up, the winner of the best fast trail shoe is the Salomon 
Pulsar SG. The second place goes to Hoka Tectonex, and the third place goes to Saucony Endorphin Edge. Now it's time for the technical trail shoes. Yeah. Let's go. So here they are, the three winners of the Technical Trail Running Shoe Award show. And let's just start out with the first place. Yes. A shoe brand, as I told, had a great year, Saucony, and they especially made a very, very nice trail shoe with the uh, Saucony Peregrine 12. Yeah. Can you tell me something about this shoe and why this is on the first place of the technical running trail running shoes? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, I would say the, the most important feature of this shoe is probably that it's it's just so stable. Mm -hmm. You can really trust the shoe. Yeah. Right. You if you uh, nail the lacing and stuff like that, it just stays put. Yeah. On your foot. So so uh, no matter what you take it through, you just uh, know you can trust the shoe and you know where your your, your uh, foot is. So yeah. so yeah. And the locks are bigger as well on yeah, this. Yeah, it's uh, five millimeters. Yeah. So you can uh, do pretty muddy conditions in yeah. this shoe as well with um, no problems. So yeah. Yeah, and there are also some similarities to the second place. I think a shoe I have sure. run a little bit in the the Scott Super Trek RC2. Also uh, some great locks, a, a very special kind of locks, uh, 360 grab. Yeah. On the yeah, locks. Yeah. As you can see here, 360 degrees, yeah. they are all over the place. <laughs> yeah, which makes it very easy to, to, uh, yeah, to find grip, no matter how you are standing on, a, exactly. on, the, on the surface. Yeah, and as you said, they are very alike, these two shoes. Yeah. In, in the features, right, this is also a very stable shoe. You, uh, you're not that far from the ground. No. Uh, the upper is very uh, firm and stable as yeah. well, but still it's a very comfortable yeah. shoe, even though... If, if you press the, the midsole, you think this is maybe a, a pretty hard shoe, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's actually not. <laughs> and uh, you can run on uh, asphalt, stuff like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, still, um, and, and be just fine Yeah, the shoe. So very versatile yeah. for technical stuff. Very well-deserved second place, I think. Yeah, and definitely. then we have somehow uh, some kind of fan favorite, yeah. uh, the Salomon Speedcross 6. Yeah. Yeah, and why is the third place going to the Speedcross 6? Well, you, you can uh, maybe you can call this the safe choice yeah. for technical and muddy conditions. And as you can see, the locks are, are well, they are big. Yeah. <laughs> very big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the grip is uh, very good. Uh, besides that, it's also a very stable yeah. shoe and it's a very firm mm -hmm. shoe. So what that gives you is obviously if it if the surface is hard you're gonna you're gonna feel the ground uh, mm -hmm. a bit maybe a bit too much yeah but if you go into um, into the forest uh, maybe some muddy stuff uh, things like that you know where your foot is yeah and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can trust the shoe so yeah. this is a very safe choice uh, and a very popular shoe for a lot of people. It is a very popular shoe, yeah. So that was the three winners of the best technical trail shoe. The first place goes to the Saucony Peregrine 12. The second place goes to the Scott Supertrack RC2. And the third place goes to Salomon Speedcross 6. So on to the next and last category, yeah. the best ultra shoes. Let's go. So the three best ultra shoes. Yes, and the, let's just start out with the winner, sure. the Salomon Ultra Glide. Yeah. Tell me about the shoe. Why is this the winner? Yeah, well, obviously it's, to, to say from the beginning, it's, it's hard to define which shoe is the best because it's a very personal choice. Yeah. Right? But what you can say about the Ultra Glide is um, it, it's, it's versatile. Mm. Uh, it's not that hard. No. And it's uh, not that soft. Either. No. So it's somewhere in between. Yeah. So you can, that, that's uh, pretty common for a lot of ultra races that you have all sorts of surfaces, right? Yeah. And uh, you can do that in these shoes. Yeah. And you also have a very nice rocker in this yeah. shoe. You can, uh, you can see here how it's, yeah, yeah. how it's rocking. So, um, yeah, all in all, you can, you can use this for most surfaces. And yes. it's still, it's pretty stable. Yeah. Um, nice room for your toes, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just a very, very nice shoe for an ultra run, I think, the Salomon yeah. Ultra Glide. The second place goes
goes to the Saucony Exodus Ultra. Yeah. Yes, and can you tell me about the Exodus Ultra? Yeah, sure. What this shoe excels in is, without doubt, comfort. Yeah. They are just, it's the, the midsole is very soft, but still bouncy, actually, and uh, very fun to run in. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a pretty good grip with the outsole here and pretty big locks as well. Yeah, yeah. And then you have this upper, which is just, it's, it's so soft and nice for your foot that it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy how comfortable they are. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it, this shoe can be challenged on very technical stuff. Yeah because it's so soft and nice. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's maybe the downside of the, yeah. the, the stuff here, but, but, but for an ultra run, yeah. this is just awesome, just yes. to say the least. Yeah. Very understandable. Yeah. Yes, and then the third place goes to the, the, the North Face Flight Vective. Yes. I haven't tried this shoe. Tell me about the third place, Max. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, if you go, I, I went half, uh, half a size down. Mm -hmm. And then the, I would say the, the fit is just perfect. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you find the perfect fit with this shoe, uh, it's actually very trustworthy yeah. <laughs> in the terrain. Uh, the, the upper is soft and very comfortable. You have yeah. this knitted stuff uh, up here yeah. uh, with a lot of air for your toes, stuff like that. It's, it's very comfortable. And you also have this very nice rocker yeah. geometry on, on the sole. So um, this, I would say, if you have stuff like long downhills, stuff like that, you can just uh, roll on in this shoe and uh, actually run pretty fast. And they are, it's very nice. It also has a carbon plate um, in it. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Great shoe for long runs. Beautiful. So the winner of the best ultra shoe goes to Salomon Ultra Glide. The second place goes to Saucony Exodus Ultra. And the third place goes to the North Face Flight Vective. So thank you so much, my Max, to uh, for enlightening me in the um, in the trail running shoes. Sure, that was the trail running shoe awards of 2022. I'm going to put links in description for all the shoes, and you can find them all on Running Expert as well. Until I see you next time, run good.